Hey guys, David here from SE Pinball. Gonna do a Led Zeppelin tutorial for you guys. Um, this game came out during the pandemic, so there's not a lot of footage on it, especially the pro. Um, so I figured this would be a good video to do. Uh, I'm also, um, this game is leaving the collection uh, tonight. So I wanted to get a video, um, haven't had it that long, but I've really enjoyed playing it um, once I learned the rule set. It's kind of an intimidating rule set uh, whenever you first start out, but once you figure it out, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty easy. Um, there's a couple things to mention. Um, this upper uh, flipper shot is really important. If you hit this upper flipper shot, it's going to do a couple things for you. First, it's going to increase the amount of time that you're going to have for your playfield multiplier whenever you cash that in. Um, if you are already in your playfield multiplier, it's going to add 15 seconds uh, to your time. So it's go going to extend it. Also, every time that you hit it, it's going to boost an element of the play field for you. So the first time you hit it, it's spinners. It's going to boost your spinner shot. Uh, the second time that you hit it, it's pops. The third time that you hit it, it's super slings. The fourth time you hit it, it's super ramps. And then it starts over. And the next time that you go through that order, it's going to be worth the, the super is going to be worth even more. Um, so that's pretty important, but it is a dangerous shot. Um, if you get it dialed in, it's great, but it can, whenever you hit it, it can come straight back and go down the right out lane. So um, I typically don't really shoot for it uh, unless I've got ball save going on or unless I really need it for some reason. Um, there's two main multi-balls, tour multi-ball and zeppelin multi-ball. Um, zeppelin multi-ball is gonna be started at the left ramp. You just hit the left ramp three times um, I believe if you're in tournament mode, uh, you have to hit the drop targets right off the bat to, uh, to light, light the lock. Um, the tour multi-ball is started at the left scoop. Um, just in a regular game, it's going to start out lit green. Um, in tournament mode or after you've done your first tour, you're going to have to hit the right ramp to light that. So as you go through um, your tour multi-balls, uh, you're gonna to have to hit the right ramp more times to light it. Um, your tool multi-ball will also be started at the left scoop um, after you have performed whatever task you've selected. So each time that you go into a tour mode, it's gonna ask you, oh, do you wanna do 70 spins or six ramps or whatever? Um, you pick that once you complete the task, that's whenever your tour multi-ball is gonna be ready. So um, that's the basics. Um, you build your multiplier, the playfield multiplier I was talking about. By hitting combos, there's actually a combo insert on all the shots. It'll light red after you hit a shot. Um, it'll give you corresponding shots to combo. Uh, if you complete your combo at any of the uh, target banks, so the ball saver bank, the LED bank, the ZEP bank, or the rock bank, um, that's gonna build multiplier for um, that particular band member, which is just these four um, circular targets here in the middle. Um, so that's the basics to the game. For a tournament, I'm just trying to string multiballs together. Like all that stuff is great, but it boils down to string multiballs together. So hopefully we can do that. All right, gonna get it going. Um, most people I've seen pick communication breakdown first because all of the shots start out lit. I actually go good times, bad times because it is um, a shorter song. It plays right into communication breakdown. So hopefully by the time we get to communication breakdown, we've got multi balls either going or they're ready. Um, so, and good times, bad times is not a bad mode by itself. It also has a um, guitar solo where the center ramp is lit um, all the time. Same thing as communication breakdown. That's another reason why a lot of people use that. So we're going to go good times, bad times, and then um, after that, we'll, we'll go right into communication breakdown. So the skill shot, um, you plunge to the uh, D target, and um, I'm going to try to use this ball save time to get that, uh, to get that upper flipper. There we go. That's what we wanted. So now I've got super spins, and the reason why I really wanted to do that is because the first tour that I'm going after is the 70 spins.
All right. That ball save um, bank over on the left is really, really important because it goes out the left out lane a lot. Go ahead and get a lock. That was just a bailout. Didn't really, wasn't really shooting for that. Damn. All right, so we got two locks. So that means our regular multi ball is going to be ready the next time that I hit that left ramp. Ideally, you want to do your tour multi ball first. Okay, we've got that um, that guitar that guitar solo solo that I was talking about. Jeez, can't even talk. Wow, come on! You know it's the first day, uh, first play of the day. If you can't hit this center target, the center ramp, got one. Terrible. Um, you might have noticed. Oh, here it is. See those white lights? Um, whenever the uh, song shots are about to change, whatever they're changing to will light up white. So that's how you know, you know a solo is coming because the center ramp is only lit. Um, it, just, it just gives you a visual cue to let you know that something is about to change. The shots on the play field, play field are about to change. Holy crap, I cannot talk at all today. This is crazy. All right. During your multi balls, everybody wants to know what's the out of ball. Uh, I probably didn't even need to hit that. So your out of ball is hitting that Icarus target, which is the uh, target to the right of the um, of the center ramp. You hit that three times, you get an out of ball. Your green button here will spot you one of those hits. So I used it early. I, it gave me a grace period out of ball. So I didn't really have to use it. But that's okay. Um, I also started my my multiplier. Ooh, I got it just in time. Got that super jackpot. Um, during that multi ball, I started my playfield multiplier by hitting the Icarus target. I had already completed all of the banks, all the song banks. Um, so then all I had to do was hit the Icarus target and it started my playfield multiplier. Uh, ideally, you want to have it a little bit built up more than I had it, but in a tournament, just take the points. You know, don't try to get too cute with it. Um, just take the points. The second uh, tour I always go for is ramps and switches. It stacks up perfectly with, uh, with your multi ball, your regular multi ball, which I have one shot away. Bang. So we're right in there. All we've got to do is get 100 switches and six ramps. And whenever we come out of this multi ball, we will have the next one ready. This is exactly what you want to do. Just string them together, keep them going. Girlfriend's home. Hear the dogs freaking out. Hopefully they don't come in here, and mess this up. So I just instinctually hit the button. Can't help it. But I didn't actually have a uh, a button to use because it's solid green. If I could have used the button, it would be flashing green. So like right now. You can't see it, but it's flashing green. Ball save. Okay. Woo! That was a good tilt. Okay. So um, now we've got the uh, tour. Um, tour multi ball is ready at the left scoop. We got that from um, from that regular multi ball, getting the six ramps and hundred switches. So now we're right back into another multi ball. Boom. 
just keep it going. Now, could I, you know, maximize my points a little bit better? Probably, yeah, I could. But this game is fast. Uh, it's pretty chaotic. Um, that Icarus target is right next to the center ramp. So you hit it on accident a lot. Um, I think that playing it this way, not putting too much pressure on yourself to do it exactly right, is helpful. You know, like there's certain moments that you're going to want to do the exact right thing, but for the most part, just string these multiballs together. You'll be all right. Ah, come on. So hitting the red shots, that's your, your basically red is your tour multiball shots. And getting enough of those is going to light your super. Which, you know, I obviously missed it, but it's okay. Because we're going to try to get back into another one. Huh. It says stop recording. I don't know if I'm actually recording right now. My freaking laptop cut off. I forgot to plug it in. Uh... And I didn't, I wasn't really paying attention to what the battery level was. All right, let's see. Hmm, I think that it is still recording. All right, well, we're just going to keep it going. Um, the laptop cut off right whenever I was in the middle of the ball, and it kind of screwed me up. Um... So I lost the ball, um, but uh, at the end of ball one, we had 164, and um, it probably would have been higher if, uh, if that didn't happen, if laptop didn't cut off like that. Um, so let's, uh, let's keep it going. So hold on one second, actually. I'm going to go see what my dog's freaking out about. All right, my girlfriend just got home, so let's see. So I have played through, um, I've played through good times, bad times, and I got my five records. Um, as you play through the song, the more shots you hit, um, that, that gives you record sales. And you wanna get the five records, um, that's basically the minimum that you have to get to count as like completing the mode. Um, which is all you're worried about in a tournament. Um, so, I've done that for good times, bad times, communication breakdown, and we started a whole lot of love, didn't do great on it. I'm actually going to Trampled Underfoot um, because this song has an awesome uh, piano solo. It's really long and everything's lit. So, um, Trampled Underfoot. I don't see too many people picking this, but I really like this mode, so let's do it. It also is good because it starts out with the ramps. All right. There we go. All right, so we're gonna do pops, targets, and left ramps. That sounds good to me. So completing the um, roll targets down at the bottom, that's going to um, that's going to give you bonus X. Not surprising. All right, so I'm going to try to I'm going to try to bring a multi ball into it. Back end it. Ugh. I'm gonna be so sad if this didn't record.
There we go. Wasting time. It's not great. So essentially all of these modes, even though there's no official timer, all the modes in this game are time modes because they last as long as the song lasts. So you've got a limited amount of time to earn those records. Just going for the red shots, basically. Try to get our out of ball. Oh, I can't tell if that hit. I wasn't looking. There we go. There's our three. Got the out of ball. Getting combos, completing combos at the targets. If you've got a red flashing button, um, that's basically, uh, you essentially have saved up your button presses um, to where you've got three of them. So it gives you a super, which in multi-ball is an extra add -a ball to go on top of the one that you get from hitting the Icarus is nice. Oh, that was chaotic. I need the super... Damn. Come on. Let's get one trapped on the right so I can get the super jackpot. And the super is just an accumulation of the jackpot points that you've gotten thus far. Oh, come on. There we go. I think I just started my Icarus. Yeah, I got 1.7x. Not great, but it's better than nothing. Ah, oh, come on. Let me get that ramp. There we go. Ah! Oh, no! Now I'm just flailing around. This is, this is getting bad. Okay. Okay, again. Get through multi-ball, and now we've got our tour multi-ball locked. Bang. Inadvertently, we'll take it. Oh no, that was bad. You can backflip whenever you've got two balls trapped on one side. You can backflip it into that scoop. Okay. Oh, come on. That's all right. Okay, so if the game is set up nice, you'll be able to backhand that ramp. Um, normally the forehand's gonna be better. Ugh. Flipper is getting a little weak right now. Normally I can backhand that. Shit. Of course, right whenever I wanna show you guys, not gonna work. Whatever. Uh. 
Ah, oh, let's just combo it. That's good. And again, we're trying to hit this right ramp to set up our next um, tour mode. Like I said in the beginning, the farther along you you are, the more right ramps it's gonna take. Okay, so now we've gotta do all this stuff and this is the last thing that we've gotta do. Um, five orbits, four ejects, 10 center ramps, and two side ramps. It's a bunch of random stuff. ball ready, but it's not timed. So just go ahead and put it out there. Get your multi ball to help you, but just go ahead and turn it on so that you're getting points for stuff. Now, if I had a green button that was flashing, I would 100% use it to complete that combo. Because I, I had a nice combo going, and it's worth it to use that green button to complete the combo if you've really got it cooking. Let's get the side target. There's one. Okay. Woo! Could have been bad. Ah. Get the backhand, get a lock. Eject. Another eject. Oh no! Okay, that's fine. The tour's still gonna be going on ball three, so we're good there. We're at 310. Song is the same, we got three. So we've got five on good times, bad times, seven on communication breakdown. What did we get on trampled underfoot? We got seven on trampled underfoot, three on song remains the same. Hmm. We've got to get to five of these things. Um, let's go ahead and do trampled underfoot. Or no, I mean, what was it? Song remains the same? Yeah. So we've got three records on that. We need five. We need five songs with five records. Ah, it's bad news right there. Oh man, terrible ball three. I had my multiplier going 3.7x, but I think that I showed what you need to be doing, just stringing these multi balls together. And again, as always, I didn't play this like terrifically, but I still got, you know, a bunch of multi balls, maybe five or six multi balls, and over 300 million points. So that's what you're trying to do. Um, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Um, hopefully this, uh, this all worked out because I don't know what happened with the, uh, with the computer dying in the middle. So hopefully it recorded everything, but we will see. Have a good day. Now have a good day.